You see employees wearing these all the time when you go to the stores, but what you don't see is what happens after that store closes until now. Watch as this employee blows his nose, then stocks the shelves at your local supermarket. We never saw him wash his hands. Just his nose. This one we caught wearing no face covering, scratching his nose, then continues to load groceries on the shelf. You could be buying that item the next day without ever knowing. How much of a problem is that? It's a risk. It's absolutely a risk. That's why when you go shopping during business hours, you see employees wearing masks and gloves. City and county officials mandated face coverings a few weeks ago. Gloves are also recommended by many stores. But when it gets dark after hours, see what we found. At this Ralph's in Burbank, the sign says masks required. But we saw this woman stocking items with no masks or gloves. The guy in the white t-shirt also with none. Another Ralph's was where we saw the nose scratcher filling the shelves. It's Target store. At Target in Burbank, this employee wasn't wearing any kind of mask as he loaded the boxes that would end up on the shelf. We did see this one wearing both masks and gloves, but she crossed paths with someone who had none. Dr. Mark Kerner says that offers no protection from spreading COVID-19. They could be coughing or sneezing or shedding the virus onto their hands or onto the package surfaces. At the 99 cents only store in North Hollywood, this woman had a mask, but it was hanging around her chin, not covering her face. At Vons, we saw an employee without masks or gloves loading up the salads. And the guy blowing his nose, that was at Vallarta supermarket in North Hollywood. As he walks around the aisle, see him adjust the mask over his face, then he stocks the shelves with no gloves. It's probably best said if you're handling um, products and you're out in the public and being um, exposed on a regular basis that you probably should be wearing both gloves and masks. We contacted all the stores. Those who responded said they do provide masks and gloves to employees and they should be wearing them even after the store closes. They say they'll now reinforce that. Their statements are available on our website at cbsla.com. I'm David Goldstein, CBS2 News.